this beautiful Labor Day weekend that we've just celebrated with our family and friends makes us wonder what may be coming up with Hurricane Irma. So I invite you to share this video with your family and friends that may live in a path just so we are able to share the word on what it's like to be prepared. You know, Fayetteville was hit so hard with Hurricane Matthew and the flooding that it brought. We've got some important advice for you. So now's the time to go fill up your car with gas. Pay attention to your hurricane risk. Make an emergency plan. Build or restock your disaster supply kit, including water, food, medications, flashlight, batteries, chargers, cash from the ATM if you need it, get it now. Make sure you have first aid supplies and copies of important papers, including things like car titles, birth certificates, and social security cards. Put them in a Ziploc bag that's watertight. Don't forget about your pets. Make sure they have supplies. Make sure that your leash and your collar are included when you go. Make sure that you have plenty of food for them and water. And have an emergency family communication plan. It's absolutely vital for your family to know where you are, where you're headed, and how to contact you in case of an emergency. Sign up now for Cumberland Alerts. It's a new system that Cumberland County has supplied for our residents, us, to know when uh, disasters hit. Go ahead and sign up now for the Facebook pages of the fire department, the fire emergency management page, and, and the Fayetteville Police Department's page. Keep your eye on Twitter feeds from those two agencies and know your risk. Look at live television broadcasts like WTVD and WRAL. For many reasons, get your news from your live media outlets and not social media. Hurricane Matthew has taught us some valuable lessons. So many of us now know our risk of flooding during hurricanes and bad storms. Take this opportunity to be a good neighbor. Clean out your storm drains. Clean out your neighbor's storm drains. Check on them before and after the storm hits. Make sure everything is, is good with your neighbor. Also, go ahead and, and tidy up your yard. Get lightweight objects that may blow away or, or float away in case of a flood out of the yard and bring them in the house. Put them in your garage. Secure them uh, somehow. And most of all, know that if you need emergency services, if you'll feel threatened in any way, you can call 911 anytime. We're always here to help.